The Youngstown Teachers Union late this afternoon overwhelmingly voted to strike and plan to be on the picket line when school starts on Wednesday. But Superintendent Jeremy Batchelor says the strike may be illegal, that the teachers union did not follow state law when it comes to negotiations. The possibility of a Youngstown teacher strike is our top story tonight at 10. Youngstown Superintendent Jeremy Batchelor this evening stood outside Volney Rogers School and two hours after the city's 450 teachers overwhelmingly voted to strike on Wednesday said he's filed a complaint with Ohio's State Employment Relations Board claiming that because the teachers rejected the use of a neutral third party fact finder any strike would be illegal. We do believe that because we do believe that the Ohio Revised Code calls for fact finding before a strike can actually be authorized and be lawful. We're willing to negotiate anytime, anyplace, anywhere. Youngstown Education Association spokesman Jim Corum says the issue is contract language. The teachers want to say in how students are taught and making important decisions about students and a district wide focus free of outside distractions. That's really our main sticking point. I know that the district has said wages, but that's not it for us this time. But Bachelor says wages are an issue. We've authorized a 2%, which is our fully budgeted amount based on our budget and our forecast from our treasurer. Um, they are down to 4.89, which is more than twice what we've offered. As far as contract language, Bachelor says the Youngstown schools remain under the Academic Distress Commission. That we have management rights that they're asking us to give up unilaterally. We don't believe that we even can give those rights up. Bachelor says there are no negotiating sessions planned for tomorrow and there will be school on Wednesday. We are working around the clock planning to provide uh, remote online instruction similar to what we did during the pandemic. Um, and we also will provide meals the same way we'll have pickup places. I just want the community to know that the board has had the power to end this a long time ago, months ago. Jeremy Batchelor says they offered the teachers a $600 bonus right now along with the contract extension that would have included two negotiating sessions a week until there's a deal. But the teachers turned it down. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.